How are you all? I hope you all must be fine, right? So today we are going to read about class 3 Mathematics Olympiad. And in class 3 Mathematics Olympiad, which chapter we are going to read? We are going to start a new chapter that is fraction. Okay. So are you all ready for it? Yes. So let's get started. Our first question, how many halves are there in 8 holes? Option A, 8. B, 4. C, 16. D, 10. So, if you know the answer, you can write in the comment section. Okay. So, in the question, it is given how many halves are there in 8 holes. So, you know, in 1 hole, 2 halves are there. Right. In 1 hole, 2 halves are there. So, in Just a minute. Yes. In one hole, two halves are there. So, in eight holes, it will be two into eight. That is equal to sixteen halves. Right? So, here correct answer is option C. That is sixteen. Coming to the next question. Find the missing numerator. 2 by 5 is equal to dash by 10. Option A, 4, B, 3, C, 5, D, 8. So, we have to find the missing numerator. Okay. So, we have 2 by 5 that is equal to something by 10. Right. Yes. So, uh, you know, if 5 here, 5 is there and here 10 is there. How? 5 can be converted into 10. 5 can be converted into 10 by multiplying it with 2. Okay. So, if we multiply 2, then we can convert 5 into 10. But in the fraction, we cannot multiply any number in um, either only numerator or either only denominator. We have to multiply the number both in the numerator and the denominator. That's why we will multiply 2 into 2 divided by 5 into 2 that is equal to 5 into 2 10 and 2 into 2 that will be how much that will be 4 right so here the correct answer is option A that is 4 coming to the next question which of the following is equivalent to 8 by 12 option A 1 by 2 B 1 by 3 C 1 by 4 D 2 by 3 in the question it is asked which of the following is equivalent to 8 by 12. Okay. So, if we have to from simplify this number that is 8 by 12, what we can do? First, we need to find the HCF of 8 by 12, 8 and 12. Okay. So, you know the HCF of 8 and 12 that is equal to 4. So, we have to divide that HCA in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So, what we will do? 8 divided by 4, okay? And 12 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4, that is equal to 2. 12 divided by 4, that is equal to 3. So, what is the correct option? Yes, the correct option is option D, that is equal to 2 by 3, right? Yes. Coming to the next question. How many tens are there in 7 by 10? Option A, 8. B, 7. C, 9. D, 10. So, if you know the answer, you can write in the comment section. Okay. So, in the question, it is asked how many tens are there in 7 by 10? You know what is 10th? Yes. What is 10th? 10th means 1 by 10. Right. And how many tens are there in 7 by 10? You know, 7 by 10 that we can write it as 7 into 1 by 10. Okay. So, how many tens are there? Yes. How many 1 by 10 are there? That is 7. Right. So, how many tens are there? The answer is 7. So, here the correct answer is option B that is 7. Got it? 
coming to the next question the denominator of a fraction is thrice that of numerator the sum of the numerator and denominator is 16 find the fraction option a 7 by 12 b 4 by 12 c 3 by 13 d 5 by 11 so in the question it is asked that the denominator of a fraction is thrice that of numerator and the sum of the numerator and denominator is 60. We have to find the fraction. If you know the answer, you can write in the comment section. Okay. So, um, what is it is told? The denominator is thrice that of numerator. So, here 12. Is it thrice that of 7? No, it is not. Coming to option B, 12 is thrice that of 4. Yes, it is correct. Coming to option C, 13. Is 13 thrice that of 3? No. Coming to option D, is 11 thrice that of 5? No, it is also not. So, which option is there? That is 4 by 12. And also it is told the numerator, the sum of the numerator and denominator, it is 16. So, if we add 4 and 12, we will get 16. Right? So, what is the correct answer? Correct answer is option B, that is 4 by 12. Cut it. Okay. Coming to the next question. Find the fraction equivalent to 5 by 15, 9 by 27 and 11 by 33. Option A, 2 by 3, B, 1 by 5, C, 3 by 5, D, 1 by 3. So, if you want, you can pause the video. You can do calculation of your own. Then you can check the answer. Okay? Yes. So, we have to find the fraction equivalent to these numbers. Okay, so what we will do? First, we will take the number 5 and 15. What is HCF of 5 and 15? It is 5, right? So, what we will do? We will divide the numerator and the denominator with 5. So, it will be 1 by 3. Okay, coming to the next one. 9 by 27. What is the HCF of 9 and 27? It is 9. So, we will divide 9 both in the numerator and denominator, that is 1 by 3. Got it? Next one is 11 and 33. What is the HCF of 11 and 33? That is 11. Yes. So, we have to divide 11 in both the numerator and the denominator and it will be 1 by 3. So, what is coming in all this fraction? The simplified fraction, that is 1 by 3 and it is present in option D. Right? So, the correct answer is option D that is 1 by 3. Coming to the next question. Find the equivalent fraction of 1 by 3 with numerator 27. Option A 9 by 27, B 3 by 27, C 27 by 54, D 27 by 81. Okay? So, you all can try and write in the answer. Okay? So, what? We need to do, we have 1 by 3 and we have to find the equivalent fraction of 1 by 3 that the numerator will be 27. See, now numerator is 1 but we have to make the numerator 27. How can you make 1 to 27? We have to multiply 27 in the numerator so that we will get 27. Okay. But remember, in the fraction, we cannot multiply any number. If we find, want to find the equivalent fraction, uh, we cannot uh, just multiply the number in the numerator only. Okay. So, we have to multiply the number both in the numerator and in the denominator. Okay. So, it will be 27 by 81. So, where is the answer? Yes, it is present in option D. So, the correct answer is option D that is 27 by 81. Okay. Yes. Next one, the numerator is greatest one digit odd number. The denominator is 2 more than the numerator. Find the fraction. Option A, 9 by 13. B, 7 by 9. C, 9 by 11. D, 7 by 11. So, uh, here... The numerator is the greatest one digit odd number. Can you tell me which one is the greatest one digit odd number? Yes, it is 
9 right so 9 is the numerator next one denominator is 2 more than the numerator which number is 2 more than 9 yes that is 11 that's why the required fraction it is 9 by 11 okay which is present in option c got it everyone yes coming to the next question Find the equivalent fraction of 8 by 14 with denominator 7. Option A 2 by 7, B 4 by 7, C 7 by 8, D 7 by 14. So if you know the answer, you can write in the comment section. Okay. So we have to find the equivalent fraction of 8 by 14 with denominator 7. Okay, so we have the fraction 8 by 14 and we have to convert it um, somehow we have to convert it to a fraction with denominator 7. So what is the denominator now? It was 14. We have to convert it into 7. How 14 can be converted into 7? Yes, if we divide by 2 then it will be converted into 7. So, what can we do? We have to find the equivalent fraction, right? So, what we can do? We can divide to both in the numerator and in the denominator. So, it will be 4 by 7. So, what is the correct answer? Correct answer that is option B, 4 by 7, right? Coming to the next question. Suresh cuts a cake into 5 pieces. He gives 3 pieces to his sister. And eats the taste. What fraction of the cake did Suresh eat? Option A 1 by 4, B 1 by 5, C 2 by 5, D 3 by 5. So in the question it is given, Suresh got a cake into 5 pieces. He gives 3 pieces to his sister and eats the taste. So, what fraction of the cake did Suresh eat? Okay, so Suresh gave gives three pieces to his sister right and eats the rest so let us write here Suresh gives three pieces to his sister so Suresh is left with or we can say Suresh at how many pieces? He has 5 pieces. He gave 3 pieces to his sister. So, Suresh ate 2 pieces. Right. Suresh ate 2 pieces. How many total pieces are there? 5 pieces. Out of 5 pieces, Suresh, eat, Suresh eats 2 pieces. So, what is the required fraction? The required fraction is Suresh ate 2 pieces by total number of pieces that is 5. So, it is 2 by 5. Where it is? It is present in option C. Right? So, the correct answer is option C that is 2 by 5. So, this much for today's session. Let's meet you in the next session. Till then, read mindfully. Practice all the questions properly. Okay? So, meet you soon. Bye-bye everyone.